up and see people with your girls to do the clip cut queen. And what I'm going to demonstrate on my client today is nice, clean, balanced uh, shape up on his beard and his hair. I'm going to do a royal black edge up and um, a natural beard line. Okay, let's get this thing on. Well, I have my Oscar Chopez. And I'm going to open it in a full open position. So it can cut off less hair. And I'm going to go against the grain at like a 45 degree angle. Not just softly because I don't, I don't want it to be like a close taper. You know, I just want it to blend into this beard. Now I'm going to go with the grain and balance that hair out. Now see, the thing about uh, facial hair is that it may be more coarse in some areas than others. It may go in different directions than others. And it also may be darker. The hair may grow darker in some area than others. So where the darker hair, I'm going to go against the grain with my same clipper in the open, full open face position. And I'm going to go against the grain to balance and blend that hair. Balancing and blending that hair. I mean, his chin under his head and his mustache. The same thing on the side. Tapping that, that 45 degree angle, just to balance, just for balance. Go with the grain. And down on this area. Then go against the grain to balance out that hair that grows thicker in that hair. Just going over that area just so we can balance it out. Now follow me back here. How we're going to do his neckline. We're going to give him a faded neckline. So I'm going to close the dust of his hair with the clipper. I'm going to close the suggestible guard all the way. It's not going to be like bald and clean, but it's going to be very, very thin and cool. Start from the back. And I just opened it up. This is a pretty simple process. Start it closed, opened it up, and now I'm going to close it like halfway and blend out this little line that's right here and balance that. And I'm going against the grain at this point. Now I'm going to open it all the way up and I'm going to go with the grain. Or should I say cut it down. As you can see his hair grows in various different directions. So 
actually, I'm still going against the grain, but I'm just going against the grain in a different direction. Because that hair was growing up, so I'm going down. That's against. That hair goes down, so I'm going up. That's against. And I'm just working my angles. So I can blend. Make this a nice, clean blend in this neck phase. Now, I'm going to close it halfway. Take my barbering comb on the wide tooth side. Do a little clip over comb action. Go clip over comb. Finish that blend out. Now we have that blended and balanced. Brush. Yeah, that's good. He has such nice waves. Nice wave pattern. And it's natural. No additives to that. That's a wine silk. <laughs> 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 All right, now we're going to go with the shake button. And I like to, I like to start with the frame, the framing from the bottom. And I'm tapping right at natural line and I'm going down struggling down with detailing and cleaning his beard and he likes to keep his beard kind of wide so we clean up his excess hair from under his neck just going to cap that beard on right at his neck line. And I'm pulling that skin, always pull the skin tight. I know, so you get a nice cool the most highly recommended bed in America. Every 60 seconds, someone, somewhere, makes the switch to temper Going behind the ear. Okay. Going behind the ear. And I'm not cutting high above here. I'm keeping it right at the natural line, but just cleaning up. And I'm cutting with the tip. And I'm pulling the ear out my way just so I can get that little, get those little hairs that's sticking out. So it'll be a nice, clean, natural look. It's amazing. And, and this should be a smooth process. You don't have to dig. You just glide your clippings across and make it smooth motion. Now we're going to go to the other side. Thank you. 
just cleaning those little natural, cleaning those hair joints that's sticking out. Stand with the natural hair hairline. Going behind the ear with the tip. Same way you get on the other side. See, because you don't, a lot of the times people make the mistake and they go way too high. Everybody's hair like, doesn't end up there. So, you just want to stay with the natural hairline. You don't want to take it all the way up there and look around. Mm -hmm. Just cleaning up the little excess hair in the back. You got to hold it for me. Now we got the, the bottom of the frame balanced. Hey, Tom. We're going to work with this here. Natural beer. You don't want to keep, you don't want to make it too high because it doesn't stay even really high. So we want to keep it right as high as it can and be sharp and even. So that detail can be seen. Then you want to curve right there, work with that natural line to make sure everything is balanced. Okay. And that, that gives you the uh, diagram of where you want to start cutting. All right. And the rest is just taking that diagram and detailing and shaping it. So I'm going up and I'm going to turn. Got that, got that shape going on. That mustache off, make sure everything is even and down from one side to the next. Yeah, both sides to be. Start from the center, hold that down. 
Once again, I'm your girl, Davida the Clipper Cut Queen, signing off. Stay tuned and stay sharp.